Hello everyone. It is week seven. I am seven weeks and one day pregnant today. I just had my appointment with uh, the certified nurse midwife this morning and um, my chart was all messed up because on June 19th, um, today's June 28th, but on June 19th, um, I was estimated due date at um, February 13th and now um, the certified nurse midwife said February 14th which means that um, if I was going to be doing the 13th, I guess my, I would turn another week every Tuesday, but um, after today, that means I will turn another week every Wednesday and not Tuesday, so, which makes me seven weeks one day instead of seven weeks two days, because my pregnancy app on my phone also says seven weeks two days and due date for Feb 13th, so I guess that's wrong. Um, the baby also measured exactly at seven weeks one day. Uh, when the certified nurse midwife first came in the room, she had the field Doppler <laughs> because I, like I said, the chart was all messed up. So I guess they thought I was further along. Um, and then she's like, oh, no, no, honey, I have to get the ultrasound machine. It's too early. I can't hear the baby's heartbeat with the Doppler. So um, she went and got the ultrasound machine. And um, I got to see the baby's heartbeat, the little flickering. Uh, the quality of the ultrasound machine really sucked, um, because even though we could see the heartbeat and everything, uh, like you cannot make out the baby's finger buds or toe buds or anything because the quality just completely sucked. So she said, um, on Monday I have another appointment. Monday is July 2nd, uh, 2012. And, um, I have another appointment then, so she was like, um, they'll probably get a better picture because I guess they use a more advanced ultrasound machine. Um, but... These are the pictures I did get. There's my baby right there in the middle. And they just printed me two copies. So I'm happy for the the crappy quality of the copies. You know, I still got a picture of my baby, but um hopefully Monday will be a more uh I don't know, a more defined one where I can see more. Um what else? Today was just a physical, like I said, I did I got a pap smear. Uh, they took my urine and, uh, breast exam and everything like that. Uh, no blood work today, so I'm happy about that. No pokes. Um, what else? That was basically it for the visit. Um, I have another visit on Monday, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, symptoms for this week are, um, I still have my pregnancy fatigue, uh, like right around 11 or 12 every day. I get super sleepy, just out of the blue. Um, so I call it taking my pregnancy nap. <laughs> Instead of say, oh, I got the fatigue. I just like, oh, it's time to take my pregnancy nap. Um, so I still have fatigue. The sore boobs have diminished a lot. So I don't really have that anymore. I have fatigue. I have the nausea every now and again. I also have the gas still. And um, every now and again, like I said, the nausea. Um, the nausea is not really nausea and vomiting. It's more like a, a sick feeling every now and again. Um, I have also started having back pain really bad. Uh, a lot of people say that if you get an epidural that that will later catch up with you. So I don't know if it's the epidural or if um, uh, it's just my body adjusting to the hormones and everything. And my ligaments and everything loosening for the baby. Um, so, yeah, I have back pain, and also something called sciatica or sciatic or something like that. That has to do with the, the nerve, the sciatic nerve or sciatica nerve or something like that. Um, but by that I mean like, <clears throat> excuse me, when I go to stand up, sometimes I'll be sitting down and go to stand up, and it feels like my hip and my leg are going to give out. Um, I don't know if it's the way I'm sitting weird or just, just sitting too long, period, but... I'll sit down, and then when I go to stand up, it feels like my leg, my hip is going to just completely give way. Um, so I've been having that with the back pain. I've been trying to cut it with regular pillows, like fold them up behind my back and stuff like that. But that doesn't really work. So tomorrow I'm probably going to go to motherhood and uh, get me a maternity pillow. Uh, I will post the brand and everything in the link below. 
Um, so yeah, I also plan on getting a fetal Doppler of my own because I think that would be fun. Um, I didn't really think about it when I was pregnant with my daughter, and that was two years ago, but uh, I think I'm going to do it with this baby. Um, I know some people have gotten a fetal Doppler uh, heartbeat at about uh, eight weeks or so, eight and a half weeks or eight weeks. Um, so by next week, probably by next week, Friday or so, um, the heartbeat should be hurt. I haven't ordered it yet, but... When it comes, I'll give it a try. Um, if nothing, then I'll just wait a little longer. But I plan on getting that. Um, today, I weighed 194.5. So, I only gained 5 ounces because um, my last appointment, I weighed 194 exactly. So, that's not that bad. Cravings uh, for this week, uh, and just in general, have been... I have been craving meat like crazy. Like, I want hot links, I want steak, I want beef, I want chicken, I just want meat. Uh, and what really sounds good right now is barbecue, like ribs. Um, so I have been having that. I've also craved eggnog ice cream. And uh, I know Baskin Robbins has the flavor, but um, when I went down there, because there's, there's a Baskin Robbins not too far from my house, they said that they only pull out the eggnog between January and December, or December and January, which kind of really pissed me off because, you know, I'm pregnant and I want it, and they didn't have it. So, um, I will settle for mitten chip and coffee and cookie dough, but I really wanted the eggnog. Um, also, before I was pregnant, my mom uh, would get cucumbers or buy cucumbers and peel them, and uh, slice them and put uh, pour lemon juice over them with uh, lemon pepper and seasoning salt. And like all of a sudden I have been wanting that. I've also wanted pickles with like seasoning salt on it. Um, so those are my cravings. Um, I haven't had, really had any weird baby dreams. I mean I've had some weird dreams but um, yeah. Uh, not really so much baby dreams. Uh, what else? I will start doing belly measurements next week because I don't have a tape measure right now. So I will do the belly measurements next week when I get a tape measure, probably around when I'm eight weeks or so. Uh, I will also update my video. I don't know if I'm going to update it on Monday after my appointment or update it that Wednesday when I'll be exactly eight weeks. It just all depends on um, how the appointment goes. Also, another symptom that I forgot to mention is I've been having acne. Like, I'm breaking out. I got zits here and just it's just all bad like <clears throat> I didn't really break out when I had my daughter but I'm uh, like with this baby it's the worst which I laugh and tell people like I think it's a boy because I've been having just way more symptoms than I've had with her I also have the frequent urination which I'm pretty sure everyone has like that one's a number one because the more your uterus gets bigger I guess and the hormones or the blood flow or whatever you have to like pee a lot, so I have that too, uh, I will still do belly shots, even though I'm not going to do measurements, so I will show you guys the belly, and then the video will be done, um, I can really fit my clothes, like they're not too snug yet, but when they are, I plan on going to motherhood inside the mall at some maternity store, um, to get like the pants and the shorts with the, uh, the belly band and everything in them and um stuff like that but i really need to go so i'll probably while i'm out tomorrow i will go and uh while i'm out getting the pregnancy pillow um i will get a couple bras and stuff because my bras are the one thing that I don't fit anymore right now so um i will post or show everything tomorrow and or post the link below where i got it and the price so everybody can know if it was a good buy or not um so i will show the belly and then I will be done. So bear with me. So I have to get the camera set up. So I am really excited. Like I said in my other video, boy or girl, um, doesn't really matter to me. As long as baby is healthy, I will be happy. I mean, I would like a boy because I have a girl, but either one will make me happy. So here I go. I'm going to show you guys the belly now. Watch out, baby. Go sit down, please. Okay. 
here. Here is the shirt up from the front. From the other side, shirt down from the front, and from the other side. Um, I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but when I stand in my bathroom, there's a mirror like on the wall. I can see my pregnancy line already down the middle of my stomach, so. Um, yeah, I know.